The first digital computers were the ones at the end of our hand. After a few thousand years, the Chinese invented the abacus in 1200 CE. I'm Charles Babbage, and I invented the world's first computer in the 1800s. Some people said I couldn't build it. They were right. I'm Ada Lovelace, daughter of the poet Lord Byron. I'm sometimes called the world's first programmer because I wrote about how the Babbage computer could be used. Unfortunately, Babbage never built it, so I never wrote a program. Whatever. I'm the railroad conductor that inspired Herman Hollerith to invent the punch card for the 1890 census. He used this machine to start a company called IBM. I think it's a bad business deal. They have one customer and they buy every 10 years. It's not going to go anywhere. You may think it's obvious that all computers are digital. Wrong. I'm Carl Norton, and this is my bomb site. It's an electromechanical analog computer. No bits or bytes. I'm Winston Churchill, and this is the Enigma encoding machine that the Germans used during World War II. We broke the code with the Colossus commuting device. After the war, I demanded that they be broken up into pieces no bigger than a man's fist. It was kind of like, do no evil, if you know what I mean. I'm Press Eckert, and this is John Motley. We invented ENIAC to compute ballistics tables during World War II. Too bad we missed our schedule. And the end of the war. I'm Admiral Grace Hopper. In addition to creating the first compiler, I found the first computer bug. It was a mod. My name is John von Neumann, and in 1945, I wrote a famous paper describing how to build a store for a computer. I gave away the design of the hardware to whoever wanted it. Maybe someday they'll give away software, too. This is one of the Sage computers. In 1954, they were located near the North Pole looking for Russian bombers. We invented the graphic user interface. We thought we might call it Windows. A major problem for early computers was how to store information. I'm Jay Forrester, and I invented core memory. After that, I retired because I knew there was nothing important left to invent. It was also difficult to store external data. In the 1950s, IBM invented the disk drive. This one is 10 megabytes. I can't imagine what anybody would do with all that much storage. I'm Fred Brooks, and I was the program manager for the IBM 360 computer introduced in 1964. It dominated computing for 30 years. Now that's a long tail. Welcome to Neiman Marcus. I'd like to interest you in this specialty item from our season catalog. It's the kitchen computer. It includes a Honeywell mini computer as well as a cutting board. Our motto is, if only she could cook as well as Honeywell can compute. Whatever. This is the interface message processor from both Boranek and Newman. It sent the first internet packet in 1969. It set off the largest legal creation of wealth in the history of the planet. I'm Gordon Bell, and in the 1970s I ran engineering at Digital Equipment Corporation. We made many computers like the PDP-1, the PDP-4, the PDP-6, the PDP-8, the PDP-10, the PDP-11. You can tell we had no one in marketing because all of our computer names were numbers. I'm Seymour Craig. While Gordon and others were inventing the mini-computer, I was inventing the maxi-computer, or supercomputer. In 1976, this was the fastest computer in the world, the Cray-1. Check out those wires. And you thought Windows was a hairball. The graphical user interface was invented in 1971 for the Xerox Alto. Nobody bought it because it wasn't really a product. The January 1975 issue of Popular Electronics featured the Altair 8800 computer, one of the early personal computers. I'm Len Schustick, one of the founders of the Homebrew Computer Club, full of computer nerds who immediately ran out and bought one. I'm Steve Jobs, and this is the Apple I computer from 1976. It's the most important invention in the history of computing. It's insanely great. I'm Nolan Bush now. After computer space, I created Atari in 1982 to create the best computer games. Pizza, anyone? The Apple II from 1977. It's really important and insanely great. I'm Bill Gates. I don't do turtlenecks. I do Windows. The graphical user interface was invented for the Macintosh computer in 1984. I'm more excited about this than anything I've ever done. It's insanely great. The IBM PC shipped in 1981. Businesses that were afraid to buy insanely great computers bought it instead. I'm Donna Dubinsky and I'm from Palm. Mm, no, wait, that's not correct. I'm Donna Dubinsky and I'm from US Robotics. Uh, wait, 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 that's not either. I'm Donna Dubinsky and I'm from 3Com. Oh, no, not yet. Uh, I'm Donna Dubinsky and I'm from Handspring. Oh no, I'm, I'm still confused. Wait, I'm Donna Dubinsky and I'm from Palm. Everybody thinks Jeff Hawkins invented the Palm Pilot, but he didn't. I did. I'm Larry Page and this is Sergey Brin. We're from Google. Ever heard of it? This is the iPod we invented in 2001. I'm more excited about this than anything I've ever done. It's insanely great. So what's next? I don't know. Brains, I guess. Whatever. <laughs>